You know, it's been almost exactly, I guess it's as exactly as possible to be two years away or in the future from the last time I made a video of this kind of whiskey. The one that I did at that time was the Nova. And at around the same time, Rob Whiskey in the Six was doing the Alba. That would be this one here. This is the Puni Alba, the Italian malt whiskey. Where does it say Alba? Oh yeah, it says Alba right there sideways uh, next to the Italian malt whiskey. The other one was the Nova. That was two years ago. So I'm back to do another Puni. I found this one uh, sitting on lone, sitting very lonely on a shelf, dusty. It's probably been there for years, and there it is, the Puni Alba. It says here. Well, let's let's pour a dram first, and then then we'll get to the says here part. Uh, oh yeah, there's a pull tab of some kind here. Come on, I done it the right way or the wrong way? That's the question. I may have ripped some of it off already. Oh, now I got it. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I think I got it. Yep, I got it. Oh, synthetic black cork. But it works. It does the job. It got it open. I was watching a, a live stream last night, but I was watching the... Um, the recording of the live stream because these live streams go up when I'm sleeping. This was Roy Aquavite doing his, um, he was tasting world whiskies and one of those was a puni I think and it looked like it was still full but it had been opened already. It wasn't this particular puni, it wasn't the Alba, it was another puni that he was doing. But uh, this is going to go public uh, probably about two weeks from now. So that video or the that uh, virtual pub live would have been two weeks ago. So you're always you're welcome to go look for it on Roy Aquavite's channel. I probably read this two years ago, but I got to refresh my memory, so I'll do it again. Puni Distillery is Italy's first whiskey distillery and lies in the South Tyrol at the feet of the Italian Alps. The ancient Riatic name, or Radic name, is taken from the nearby river Puni. The poor, pure <laughs> alpine water, locally sourced grains, traditional copper pot stills from Scotland, and bespoke maturation warehouses are the main elements for the creation of the first Italian malt whiskey. Puni Alba, the Italian malt whiskey. The Italian word for um, dawn. Down. Dawn. Okay. As well as the Scottish Gaelic name for Scotland. Alba, yes. Is matured for three years in the finest Marsala casks from Sicily and finished in hand-selected casks from the Isle of Isla. Ooh, this promises to be interesting. Alba is a harmonious combination of the rich and fruity flavors of Italy and the distinctive smoky character of the Scottish island. Dark fruit, peat, and cloves. That's what it says there. I'll let you know what I think. Puni Distilleria SRL via Puni 10 Glorenza BZ. Info at Puni.com. Okay. And I think it's 750 mils and 43%. What does it say here? 
700 mils and 43%. Batch number 03, whatever that means. And uh, distilled, matured, and bottled in Italy. Product of Italy, www.puni.com. Matured for three years in Marsala and Isla Casks. Natural color, non-chill filtered, dark. Okay, fantastic. This is the Puni Alba. At 43%. What do we get here? Oh, what do you see? What do I see? Ooh, did you see that rushing right down there? It's leaving big drops behind, but it rushed right down. And as usual, there are trails, trails of droplets. Damn, I'm too good at cleaning these glasses. Oh yeah, I'm getting the Marsala casks definitely. Sweet wine. And smoke. Sweetness and smoke. Sweetness, fruitiness. A little bit of citrus, particularly lime. That would no doubt be coming from the Isla casks. And sweetness. Not getting any dark fruit on the nose. I'm getting sweet light fruits. Things like peaches and apricots in a fruit cup, like the Demonte fruit cup, peaches and peaches kind of component of the Del Monte fruit cup. I'm also getting the Del Monte fruit cup um, syrup. Yeah, some of that fruit cup fruit and definitely lime, lime, lime citrus. The fruitiness and the the fruit cup syrup is doing it's still there, but it's fading a bit. And I'm left with the also fading lime. Let's uh, clean the palate a little bit. The last thing I had with was Akintosh and three wood and uh, oat cake time. Before we taste this little thing. You know, the bottle reminds me or at least the shape of the bottle reminds me of, um, you know that old Star Trek episode where there's a, uh, 
and there's a robot probe that was sent out by the planet Earth back in the 20th century. And it collided with a robot probe from an alien civilization. And of course it got intercepted by the Starship Enterprise. The bottle of this reminds me of the shape of the um, probe that the um, uh, Star Trek uh, people had uh, beamed onto the Enterprise. Just the shape reminds me of the uh, it was called V'ger or Voyager. No, it was called Nomad, not Voyager, Nomad. And Nomad, the shape of Nomad was kind of like this bottle and it would float kind of <laughs> in the middle of the room. And it zapped Uhura when she was singing and uh, figured out that she was defective because she was singing. And then she was learning, uh, learning to read again. And at the end of the scene, it's, she's saying, the ball is Baluy. <laughs> Amazing what memories are triggered by the shape of a bottle. Hmm. Yeah, I love these things. Orkney Oat Cakes. Guaranteed to get rid of any flavor in your mouth. And then you can face the world with a clean palate. One oat cake between drams is sufficient to do the job. Caution, may stick to dental work. Oh, this has been open in the glass long enough. What does it say? It's minimum of four years old. Something like that. Mm. It smells great. Now that I nose it again, I'm getting cloves on the nose. Is that the power of suggestion? Because it says here, um, dark fruit, peat, and cloves. If I dig deeper beyond the cloves, I get, once again, lime citrus. My palate should be sufficiently clean to taste this now. Mm. Oh, this is delicious. This is great. Wow, I'm impressed. This has taken me right back to Bunahaven Moynia Marsala that I picked up at the distillery back in March of 2019. Oh, there's that sweetness of the Marsala wine, which I love. Give me anything finished in Marsala and I'm going to like it. 
I think the old Pulteney 21 was finished in Marcella as well, if I'm not mistaken. Or was that a Fino Sherry? That was a Fino Sherry. This is taking me right back to the Bunahaven Moigna Marsala. Same assortment of flavors, but in different proportions. Hmm. Nice slippery mouthfeel. Sweet. Sweet Marcella wine. I'm getting some espresso notes off the peated, peated component of it. On the palate, there is none of that. Um, None of that citrus lime going on. I'm just getting an ashen burnt up. Oh, the combination of flavors is, is fantastic here. Oh. Marcella wine sweetness followed by espresso coffee on the finish with maybe a hint of, ch of milk chocolate. Mm. Oh, this is great. What did I pay for this? I'm being impressed, really impressed here. Okay, Puni Alba. Let's go with the this here. Okay. Um, seven point five plus fifteen plus that's the taxes plus the bottle deposit of t ten cents plus one four nine 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 hundred forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents is the the price of this uh, out the door $172.59 but damn this is good these are Canadian dollars by the way 172 Canadian dollars and what did I say 59 cents something like that only 43 percent but you know what with this particular whiskey I'm in love I like this stuff this is leaps and bounds over the Puni Nova Wow, why did I take so long to try this? This is delicious. It has the, the, the wine. I'm not getting the cloves on the, on the taste so much. I'm just getting the sweetness from the wine. The espresso coffee from the peat. No lime from the peat. Hint of milk chocolate. And the finish. The finish is exquisite. It's coffee. Fading espresso coffee, fading coffee, and hanging in and hanging in and hanging in coffee. I will 
half a gulp of water. And there's still a hint of that coffee. Yes. Yes. This, this is definitely to my taste. Ah. Puni Alba, I salute you. Hey, haven't you had enough, mate? <laughs> Food quick. Uh, food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>